Hello and welcome. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you so much for joining us for another segment of HPR. In this segment, we're going to be speaking with Dr. Rakesh Suri. He's joining us here as President and Chief Medical Officer at Fountain Life to talk about Fountain Life's unique data-driven approach that enables finding illnesses, including cancer, cardiac, metabolic, and neurodegenerative diseases early before they can cause harm. Welcome to Health Professional Radio, Dr. Suri. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for the invitation, Neil. It's such a pleasure to be with you today. As President and Chief Medical Officer at Fountain Life, tell us a a little bit about yourself briefly and talk about your role at Fountain Life. Well, thank you. Uh, So I began my career as a heart surgeon at Mayo Clinic and then uh, then became an innovator. Uh, I'm also a a PhD, a scientist in immunology. Uh, And at Mayo really worked with remarkable teams to understand the power of group effort to set upon a vision, bring innovation, coordination, and really deliver on something that could transform humanity. So that was really the beginning of my career uh, in academic medicine, and then was invited to join uh, a world a world leading team at Cleveland Clinic to do something that had never been done before: open the world's first U.S. academic medical center ever outside the U.S., conceived and built from the ground up and ended up leading 6,000 truly remarkable individuals to deliver a level of innovation, care, education, and research that had never before been seen in that part of the world. It was through that process, Neil, that I began to understand that there was a real gap between the delivery of the most innovative care, the ability to uplift human conditions and improve health and the means of paying for it. There was really that cycle or that connection was really broken, not only in the U.S., but abroad. And therefore, when I was invited to join the innovative and futuristic team at Fountain Life, I really took a a very hard and and, uh, careful look at it and, and really was impressed by the vision. And the vision was to bring cutting edge, latest generation diagnostics to our clients a decade before would be available in mainstream clinical practice to understand which conditions were developing in those clients uh, to diagnose, uh, reverse, halt, or cure disease long before it became apparent clinically study our data, to publish, teach, and disseminate, and then find a way to pay it, pay for it through our a very innovative captive insurance program. Truly a model that is, is paradigm changing in terms of the future of healthcare. So delighted to have joined the team in my new role as President and Chief Medical Officer. How exactly will Fountain of Life, I mean, you, you spoke about the, the goals. How will they achieve those goals of uh, moving toward a more preventative model as opposed to uh, treating disease only after it is advanced to a stage of requiring acute care? Well, the, the simple answer is we start one client at a time. Every client is our most important client, and we're really person-focused and relentless in our ability to treat every individual as the most important individual on the planet. And what's fascinating, Neil, is that regardless of whether a client is a physician or a lawyer or an innovator or a scientist, undoubtedly when people come through, they find something new about themselves that they didn't know, myself included. So coming through our advanced diagnostic paradigm, which is always being refreshed, with the latest and the best scientifically validated innovations in in diagnosis, optimization, and therapy, having a person come through and finding out new insights about what's going on in their body so that they can optimize themselves and improve the quality of their life, the ability to do things that they want to do with their families, their communities, and their jobs, to optimize them for as many years as possible, a concept we call health span is really going to be a contagious phenomenon, we believe. In other words, once people see the power 
of these types of diagnostics to lead then to interventions and therapies and then finding a way to study it, disseminate it, and then pay for it as part of our captive insurance program, we believe that it will transform care. It will transform the care uh, initially in those who are electing to come, and then it will transform care in those who are part of very forward-looking and ingenuitive companies who seek to take care of their employees as family and to ensure that they're as productive, as happy, and as long-living as they can be. And, and as these companies really understand how this will impact the, the, the growth and the stability and the, ultimately the profitability, profitability of their companies, we believe that this will so-called democratize this model and it will disseminate very rapidly thereafter. Our ultimate goal, Neil, is to have fountain in the home. And I'm excited to report that we are in advanced discussions now with our partners at Fountain and external partners who are building futuristic live, work, play communities where people would come to live and be part of, of wellness and health and longevity and optimization of performance. And uh, we, we're being invited to consider being the anchor healthcare partners within these communities. And that's really where this model will flip to uh, exponential determination, and we're, we're delighted to be a part of it all. Well, what technologies are included, and um, how will Fountain Life differentiate themselves from other healthcare facilities that have similar technologies uh, that they're working with, especially when it comes to the diagnostic side of it? Well, here's the thing. The, the, the great news is the technologies are always changing. We are relentlessly searching the globe for the latest and the best regulatory approved uh, diagnostics, therapeutics, and interventions to bring to our members. So the, the great news is that we do the fact-checking, the research, the vetting for you. And we can assure you that you will always be on the cutting edge, uh, aware of the latest and the best. Many of our physicians are MD, PhDs, so we understand not only the clinical side in terms of care delivery, but also the research behind what gets a diagnostic or a therapeutic intervention into, into, uh, into use. So we, we are always refreshing that list. The, the current currently curated mix of diagnostics, then feeding into a very advanced data analytic system or data lake where we utilize uh, the, 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 the latest generation artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms to then power our N of one journeys, meaning we're designing journeys that are tailored for you as our client. And then driving that into a mechanism of paying for it, we believe that that self-perpetuating cycle or that virtuous circle is, is, is really not duplicated anywhere that we're aware of. If there are others, we would love to know about them and collaborate with them, but we believe that we're really pioneers in this space, which is very exciting because when we're pioneers in really completing this, this virtuous circle and looking for partners, all the way along, by the way, whether they're diagnostic partners or therapy partners or even provider partners who are performing tertiary and paternary care when people, when and if people do get, get sick, they were really building out the healthcare ecosystem. But where Fountain Life really plays uniquely is upstream. And there's a very practical reason why this is so important to me. We spent decades being part of a heart surgery community and still am, where we often see patients when it's too late. They come with a catastrophic heart attack, and the heart muscle is already dead. And even though we may bypass or stent the artery, the reality is, is that the heart will never return to completely normal function, and therefore the amount of blood that's pumped to the body will never achieve baseline or normal levels again. And it's sad because with technologies we use at Fountain Life, including substratification of cholesterol and lipid levels to really understand the fractions which are bad or good 
bad meaning leads to accelerated coronary artery disease, and good meaning prevents or delays the development of blockages in, in the heart vessels. And when you combine that with coronary CT angiogram or CCTA plus artificial intelligence overlays, which, which several companies are developing, we're able to then stratify and divide the blockages that we only understood on cardiac catheterization for many decades as a percentage. We're now able to take that, say, 60 percentage blockage and understand which parts of that blockage are vulnerable, meaning soft, gummy plaque that could rupture like a volcano and lead to a heart attack, and those that are stable. What are the next steps for Fountain Life, and where can listeners go to find more information about the developments there? Well, the next steps for Fountain are really a growing our four sites in Westchester, New York, Naples, Florida, Orlando, Lake Nona, Florida, and uh, Dallas, Frisco, Texas. And these are places where you can come and see what we're offering, tour the, the, uh, the center, and sign up for memberships to be able to un, uh, be, a, be uh, a recipient of this world-class care immediately. We'll then study your data, and then we can also deal with and interact with your companies to take care of and cover employees to ensure that we're with you in sickness, but importantly, in with you in health and preventing sickness for as long as possible. I'd invite all of the listeners to visit our website, www.fountainlife.com. Well, Rakesh, I appreciate you joining us here on Health Professional Radio. Thank you so much for your time. Looking forward to another conversation with you. Thanks very much, Neil. Look forward to keeping you apprised of this very exciting space. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Dr. Rakesh Suri. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio. Thank you.